In this video, we're going to be reviewing Henrico County's current chimney liner permit and inspection process, along with uploading photos of your chimney liner. Currently, chimneys need to be inspected whenever they are relined and upon the replacement or new installation of any fuel burning appliances. The inspection is required to assure the chimney is properly sized for the equipment and to confirm there are no obstructions, blockages, or defects in the chimney. The chimney inspection can be performed either prior to or in conjunction with the final inspection of the equipment installation. Chimney liner inspections performed prior to the final inspection shall be made before the appliance or the equipment is installed. The final inspection shall then be requested after approval of the chimney liner inspection and installation of the appliance or equipment. Chimney inspections performed at the same time as the final inspection require that photographs be submitted prior to conducting the site inspection. Both inspections shall be requested at the same time through the Build Henrico customer portal. The photographs will be uploaded to the customer portal on Build Henrico when the chimney liner inspection and the final inspection are requested. What we will do now is show you how to upload your photos into the customer portal. Once you log into your customer portal, you'll be at the main screen. What you need to do now is find the permit in question where we need to upload these photos. There are two ways to find a permit in question. The first one is to go to the My Activities tab where we'll show the activity on your most recent permits. In our example today, it is our first one that we're looking at, but let's just say, for example, you cannot find it in your My Activities. You can use the search function up at the very top right. Go under All Building Permits and then select Search for Permits by Permit Number. Enter the permit number and select Search, and it's going to take you to find that permit as we saw earlier in the My Activity screen. Going back to the My Activity screen, the first thing we want to do is upload the photos that are required for the inspection. So we just select the permit. It will open up to your details tab, and then you're gonna to wanna to select the documents tab. Once the documents tab opens, you're gonna see any approved documents, any certificates, then supplemental documents. And what we will want for our example today, when you're doing it yourself, is to come below supplemental documents and select upload supplemental file. When you upload the supplemental file, it's then going to give you different um, photos or files that you can actually select to upload to the system. As you can see, the system begins to upload them here in green. The document type defaults to engineering documents, which is incorrect. So please make sure that you are labeling each document type as specifications, as this is going to be a notification for the inspector on their inspection that they are there. Then after you've uploaded the photos, and please keep in mind with the photos, the photographs that you upload need to include the interior of the newly installed or existing chimney liner from the point of connection to termination of the liner of the flue, the interior and exterior of the vent connector at the chimney flue, the equipment connection to the vent, and the chimney cap if one is installed. So after you've uploaded your photos as we see here, all you're going to do is press save. That at least now attaches those photos to the permit in order for an inspector to see. However, the most important piece after you upload these photos is to request the inspection, because if you do not request the inspection, the inspector will not see them. So to request the inspection, all you will need to do is go to the details tab, and once you get to the Details tab, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and select Request Inspection. This will then take you to the inspection choices that you may make. So what we will do here is the contact number of the person that may need to be called if there are questions. The requested date, you can open up the calendar and select any date that you would like for your inspection. 
I'm going to go, go with the default of August 3rd. Then you can request your time. Now, there will be specific instructions that you will want to leave for the inspector. You will want to leave a note stating that the pictures of the chimney liner have been uploaded. This will detail to the inspector as they have their inspection that those photos are there in the system and in the portal for them to go out and see, not noting that they will be unaware that they are there. After you make the note for the special instructions, you can request your inspection or your inspections. I'm going to go ahead and select the chimney liner. I'm going to also go ahead and select the final mechanical inspection. And then after you've selected your inspections, select request inspection. And then in a moment, you will receive confirmation that your inspection has been scheduled. This will now let you know that the inspection has been scheduled. And since you have uploaded your photos previously, based on our example, when the inspector has this on their workload on August 3rd, they will be able to complete the inspections with the pictures that you installed.